Hey you guys, this is Real Talk, and I'm coming to you with a new uh, episode. And on this episode here, we are going to discuss um, some pretty terrible stuff that's happened happen to be going on right about now. Um, uh, seems uh, these scheming one percenters are doing some dastardly deeds. I mean, not that we didn't know that already. <laughs> we already knew all that stuff. <clears throat> um, turns out uh, most Americans are already chipped and don't even know it. Now, how true this is, I don't know. I don't have like, 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 um, you know, I don't have like the details on that. But I, w it w I wouldn't put it past them since they're so scantless on the way they're doing everything. Let's take a look at a few things. <clears throat> this is a YouTube, uh, this is a YouTube uh, video I found. You can look it up. Shocking uh, millions already RFID chipped under Obamacare without consent. Now this one, I can kind of attest to it that, yeah, Obamacare has that where it's a, floor, a forced implant if you're using that, that program. So, <clears throat> one in three Americans have been implanted with an RFID ch microchip, but don't know it, over 100 million Americans. You know, so whenever you go, like, to the to the dentist or to the doctor or anything that has to do with any type of needles, I recently went for some... Um, for some dental work because I had you know some uh, teeth that I needed to be removed, and when they were giving me the shots, like it, it could have implanted me in my face somewhere. Now, if it's done uh, without my consent, without my knowledge, then God is not going to honor that. <clears throat> Volunteers of randomly selected USA populations for the study were found to have R RID implants and had no knowledge of it. See, so this is uh, showing how scantless they are, and they're pretty much chipping everybody. And then that, that's what all the biometrics crap is all about—about about your eyes and your fingerprints. And you know, they're trying to get everybody to uh, bum rush uh, the, the chipping. Look, look how cool it is! You get to log onto Facebook, into YouTube, and blah 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 blah. Right. <clears throat> Individuals found having the secretly implanted RFID chips had them in their tooth fillings, which obviously were put there intentionally by their dentists. 57% of people chipped had them in their tooth fillings. So, needless to say, there's some scantless things going on, you know. And, uh... There, there's, there's just some ruthless things going on with, uh, with, you know, all the stuff that we're seeing, you know, and it's widespread, and it's just, <laughs> you got to start reading the Bible, I'm trying to tell you. Uh, microchips have been found placed in their dentures without their patient's knowledge or approval of it. Yeah, I can kind of see where that's happening, that, that way, you know, you t you're putting them on, you're taking them off, and they're inside of the actual fake tooth. So they don't get damaged from, from, you know, the cleansing of the dentures or whatever, the, the cleansing material. So I'm sure that they're, uh, you know, they're sneaky enough to figure out how to, how to do it where they don't get, you know, messed up or, or damaged. But that's why they're, they're all over the place. And, you know, um, it's just, it's just sad, you know, how this stuff is already in our face. <clears throat> goes without saying that the doctors and dentists, etc., who have committed these criminal act, this cr criminal act of implanting RFID chips, microchips into their patients, are no longer doctors, according to the, their physician's oath of Hippocrates and their medical association of which they are members. They have treated their patients as animals. Yeah, well, that's what they call us. You know, we're just useless eaters, animals. However, even animal owners have to first give their consent to the vet before their animals are RFID chipped. Well, since the 1% supposedly are the owners of us, they did consent. Well, don't you think? That's why they chipped us. You know, whatever. 
These doctors should have their licenses removed and should be barred from the medical profession. Well, that's why I'm I'm not a big doctor fan, and I never have been unless my arm has fallen off. But even then, you know, they can chip you, you see, so. I don't know, you either live without an arm and you die or you go get chipped. I don't know. It's kind of a hard decision, but. <clears throat> and here's another dude that, that said the same thing, you know, and he, this dude was, was, you know, calling, calling them out too. RFE, RFID chipped without consent disclosure. Watch entirely, share with everyone, make it borrow. Yeah, because she wants to get paid. But yeah, you know, there's a lot of people lining up to get chipped because they think it's cool. You get to pay with your hand. You don't, you know, like apparently it's too hard to, um, apparently it's too hard to, to walk around with a wallet. That, that right there is a little bit too difficult. It's a little, it's a little bit, it, it, it's a little bit difficult to, uh, to walk around with your wallet, you know, so you need a chip to make sure that, you know, you don't leave your wallet behind. You know, that's too, it's too hard to do. I mean, I mean, people have been doing that for like hundreds of years, but now all of a sudden it's, it's, it's like a really difficult task. So, Internet of Things. Okay, now these bastards are are um, starting to tell us, well, it's an Internet of Things. Yeah, your car is connected, the light tower, the building, and everything is connected. Is, isn't that what we see when we're rolling around and we're seeing all these Wi-Fi um these Wi-Fi signals everywhere. You know they got the the cameras all over the the. <clears throat> you know when you when you're out the street, they got cameras everywhere. There's cell towers everywhere. I mean your cell phone's got GPS, and you know your your uh, your SIM card. Uh, everything is is tied to the system in some form or another. Um. <laughs> So now they're trying to tell you how great it is to be tied into the world by all this electronic uh, garbage, you know, and now it's the Internet of Things. It's not just the Internet. That chip is going to tie you in, into the Internet, and you're just going to be another piece of, of machinery as far as they're concerned. And here we see they got the tractor, the light, the railroads, the bus stop, parking meter, looks like a refrigerator. Some medical thing down there on the bottom, this other scientific thing, a bridge, the alarm for your house, yeah, you know, the temperature control at your pad, you know, so everything's connected, you know, so you're in that, in that group think, you know, you're in that satanic group think where, you know, they, they tell you what to think and you go, okay, like a dumbass, <clears throat> so... And then, uh, here's another thing that I found uh, that was kind of odd, okay. You guys remember back in, I think it's 2000, it was either 2011 or 2013. I forget how far ago it was, but remember back when they squashed the U the UH, uh, the UHF signal? Because for, for years and years and years, since uh, the, the beginning of television, I think that was going to be in like 42, 47, 49, somewhere around there. That's when television started. That's when they first started to have televisions in homes. And the way that they used to do it was, was to send these uh, signals out on a VH system. You know, there was v VHF, there was VHF and UHF. Those were the two signals, you know, that they would send out into, into the, you know, public broadcasting. Well, in about 2013... Or 2011, I'm not sure, but they, they pretty much canceled them and forced everybody to the digital realm. Well, that did two things. What it did was is it recaptured, because those frequencies were old and outdated. So what they did was is they captured those frequencies back, because there was a lot of, uh, I don't know if you noticed, but whenever you're using any type of wireless frequencies, if two, two of the same frequencies uh, interconnect, you get interference. So if two systems, let's say your wireless phone, I mean, nobody has a wireless phone anymore because nobody has home phone service hardly ever, but you know what I mean? But back, let's say back in the 90s or 80s or, or 2000s, whatever, you had your wireless phone and you had a Bluetooth, and you know, Bluetooth wasn't back then, but let's say there was, and they both were running off of a 440, uh, you know, megahertz, you know, signal, they, they, were, they, they would clash with each other and they would wreck the system. So what they did was, is they said, okay, we're going to pull the public uh, broadcasting 
you know, that belongs to the public, but they're so stupid, they don't know. So we're just going to steal their, their signals from them. We're going to recycle them into all this uh, our Internet of Things crap. Uh, we're going to f we're going to tell them that we have these boxes that is going to convert their old caveman television into these new digitally received ones. And they're going to get a clearer picture and all that crap. And millions of people ran down there to get their boxes. And what they really did when they did that is they took they took the spy back home with them and plug it in. And now you have a spy in your house. Because those boxes have uh, two-way transmitters and cameras inside, built inside. Of course, they didn't tell you that, but, you know, that's just like, you know, whatever. And every time you buy a flat-screen television, you know, they have cameras inside so they can, they can monitor what you're doing inside of your house, and you're the one taking it in there. So you're consenting by the mere fact that you're purchasing these items. Okay? <clears throat> and a buddy of mine... Now, I'm not sure how this one goes, but a buddy of mine was was telling me, um, we were just having a conversation, and, and he had mentioned that he had heard about the pitch of the music. And I always wondered about that, you know, because I remember seeing on my keyboard, on the on the actual keyboard itself, I always saw that, that I was able to, to tune it down to 432. Uh, the standard pitch of, of, of the A above middle C, A equals 440 hertz. So it equals 440, okay? So that's what all the music is played to nowadays. So every song that you hear out on the radio, in movies, in concerts, everywhere just about, uh, other than, than, you know, overseas in the Middle Eastern, because they have different tunings over there. But I'm talking about Western, you know, music. Everything is tuned to 440. Well, that gives light to the fact that they're using frequencies against us, you know. That was another reason why they had to disassemble and, and, and d disseminate the, the UHF, VHF frequencies because they were clashing <clears throat> with a lot of other stuff, you know, because they are casting spells on the people through the music. What do you think all the Rihannas and, and all the Jay-Zs and all that crap is all that gay z stuff is is they're using those frequencies to spell to cast spells on, on on the people john todd speaks of this that they were casting uh spells on the people like uh a buddy of my i just saw the video where you got to watch out for this movie called the conjuring 2 they were using real um real incantations and real demonic sounds like in the soundtrack this one dude died in India, or he, I don't know, he flipped out, and this other lady, like, like literally got possessed in the theater, like, literally in the theater while watching this movie. So that just tells you that they're using these frequencies to, to, to you know, to, to, to just cast witchcraft on us, okay? And another thing that was trippy, and I'm not sure how it goes, because my buddy was saying, because there's this video on YouTube that says that 432 is you're in tune of the universe and all that new age crap. Now, I don't really believe that junk. But what I believe is, is probably the way it goes, is that the 432 is the original pitch. You know, if you would play it at that pitch, you, it wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to cast the spell as, as you do with the 440 pitch, which is what's being widely used now. That's what I really think is going on, but of course, Satan's going to try to twist everything around, and try to confuse you, and this, that, and that. I don't have proof of that, so I'm not going to, like, sit there and prove it, but what I can say, which brings us up to this right here, uh, a while back, I wondered, I, I was wondering, like, is, should there be drums in Christian music, and a lot of people also have asked that same question, and it comes up that the, these are the only uh, instruments that were See, a summary of singing and use of musical instruments in Psalms in tablature and in, in tabulated below. So in Psalms they speak of, of, of instruments. <clears throat> and they're speaking of singing, they're speaking of harps, psaltery. I don't know what psaltery is, but it explains it up here, but I can't see it. Uh timbrels, like tambourines, you know, that type of stuff. Trumpets symbols but no drums you see symbol symbol are thin metal plates that are usually played in pairs 
and produce sounds when struck together. When they are, are graded one against another, cymbals produce a, a pleasing metallic rumble. The technique used when a single cymbal is called for, uh, for is produced by striking it with a drumstick or rolling the soft mallet using felt tipped. <coughs> so it speaks of cymbals and things of that nature, but not necessarily drums. I did a little bit of research and it turns out that the drum is actually coming in on the on the pagan side you know for you know that's like voodoo it comes from like the voodoo stuff you know and that's where all the drums coming in so now and let me just clarify one thing and this is my sinful nature i love drums i'm a, I'm a drummer dude i mean i'm a musician i've been doing it all my life and i love drums i'm not gonna lie but that just goes to show you that 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 the use of drums in music could potentially be why they're able to cast spells on the audience. <laughs> because there's this one radio station that I had been listening to for many years now. And I always noticed that they never had any type of drumming in there. They only had strings, pianos. Because it speaks of, of using a stringed instrument. A piano is a stringed instrument because they tune it just like a harp is. And guitars are string instruments. And they had pianos, singing, strings, you know, violins, whatever, uh, trumpets, you know, stuff like stuff like that. But but it, it never really had a drum beat. And then it got me to thinking, and then I went and Googled it, and then I, I started, like, kind of looking into it because I was always wondering, should drums be in Christian music? And a lot of people agree with me that, no, they should not be in Christian music. So even the, the supposed Christian music of today is still satanic, you see? It's still demonic. And they're still casting casting spells on people. Just like, you know, I'm in a, like a band right now playing at the church, and, and most of that stuff, it sounds all it sounds like is devil music with, with supposed Christian lyrics. And then they never really mention Jesus. You know, they, and like I say, they're always trying to sidestep Jesus. They, they don't want to acknowledge his you know, his, his sacrifice, who he is, you know, why it's important in our life, you know, he's the only way, you know, they always want to sidestep that, but if you go back to the, the old church hymns, the old church hymns, that's all they speak of, is, is, you know, what a friend we have in Jesus, you know, all that stuff, you know what I mean, <clears throat> so it's always speaking of Jesus, and I, I kind of, I'm, I'm more akin to the hymns versus the new stuff, but, these are some of the reasons why they took down the VHF, UHF stuff back in 2011 or 2013. I forget which one it is. But they just barely removed it like within the last five years. So everybody, you know, even the youngsters would remember that because we used to have big antennas on top of our house to, to receive the, the set, you know, the, the, because there were free airwaves. It was free television. Now everything's paid. And so they, <laughs> So they took away our stuff, they stole the signal, made you pay for television, uh, it opened up the frequencies for the Internet of Things and the chips that they're trying to chip the people with. Now they got a, 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 a spy in your house that you that you was more than happy to run down there and get because it was free and you took it in your house. So see, that's why I don't have the televisions in my house. And, and and I have this iPad, but I got the you know I got I got the I got the camera covered. I don't know where the mic is. I don't have to cover the mic because they can they can uh they have control over the mics and the cameras on iPads and things of that nature on on all the equipment phones. They they can listen to the phones anytime they need to. <clears throat> so I don't know. I'm just gonna put this little video together because I thought this was uh, uh kind of interesting how uh. They're using the frequencies to, to dominate us. So we're under attack on so many different levels. So when, when Jesus and God has said that if you're not a, if you're not with him, you're against him, he really means it. If, you're not, if, if, if you haven't decided to be a martyr for Jesus, because that's what it seems like it's going to come to. Now we have those, the folks saying, well, it's, it's a pre-rapture, it's a pre-rapture, it's a pre-rapture, you know. Uh, 
you know, he's going to come and save us before we suffer. And then some people say, no, he's coming in the middle of, you know, the seven year period, you know, when the Antichrist shows up and some people, nah, we're going to suffer. I'm part of the, I think we're going to suffer part. That's what, that's, that, that's the one I think, because Jesus explains in Revelation, I mean, I can detail all the stuff we're going to have to endure. And if Jesus suffered for us, and I, I've known just firsthand that my walk with Jesus, even though I wasn't fully, you know, I wasn't fully on Jesus' team, I have suffered a lot in my life, you know, just because of, of what I know to be true, you know, that Jesus is God. He's the Son of God, you know, Holy Spirit, Almighty Father, Almighty Father the Holy Trinity. And I've suffered a lot just 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 for for those Ten Commandments. So I can I can tell first I can tell you guys firsthand that yeah, I think we're gonna have to suffer and because it it will come, you will have to make a choice. The guy that his name is Jim Caviezel Caviezel or some something like that. The one that played Jesus in the Passion of the Christ. <clears throat> he too says that it's gonna come to a time where people are gonna have to make that choice now i'm not trying to like be a fear monger or nothing like that all i'm saying is at some point you're going to have to make a choice either you're going to be part of the internet of things or you're going to have to just disconnect that's why i'm saying that i'm going to ride youtube until the wheels fall off because you know they're they're just getting just outlandish i mean the google logo is 666 you know, www. That's six six six. I mean, there's just satanic stuff everywhere, all around us. You know, but for now, you know, it it just seems difficult. You know, for most of us, you know, because we want to do the right thing, but we just like don't are not sure how to, in our jobs. You know, just in life general. I try not to let that get me down. I like to try to stay happy and just enjoy what God has given us. You know, each day is a blessing. You know, each meal is a blessing time with your friends and family that's a blessing if you know if you if you're, you if you have you know steady work and you know you know like that that's a blessing so just you know keep all that you know i just i'm just happy and i just enjoy things you know and i try not to get caught up with with worrying too much you know however i am making these videos just to give heads up heads up to my fellow man you know my fellow men and women out in the world <clears throat> that, that at some point you will have to make that choice, and it seems like they're moving. They're moving along with their agenda like rapidly. So, and you might be chipped and not even know it. So, just be careful when you go to the doctors when it comes to needles and stuff. You know, read the fine print. This is what I suggest in my other video. I had put it in the about page when when I was trying to sign up with that freedom thing. On those contracts, you can write in there. You know, because whatever you sign is a contract. Just, just, just understand that. Whatever, when you're signing that, and especially if, if they ask you for a social security number. Now, this is a tip. Now, you use this at your own risk. I'm not giving legal advice. I forgot to tell you that on, on, on my other videos, but this video is going to talk for the other videos. I'm not giving legal advice. You have to do your own research. But this is just a man speaking, and you can do with this information as, as you see fit, if you think you can handle it. But <clears throat> when you're signing a contract, you could put, you know, um, this contract is governed by the Holy Scriptures, known as the King James Version, uh, the Holy uh, the Holy Bible, King James Version. Anything not congruent with uh, with the King James Version is unenforceable. You know, you can actually write that in because usually they have a lot of little writing down on the bottom, and you know, it's just because they're kind of deceitful in the way they do it. But you can actually write something in there, and that statement alone is, 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 I mean, that right there just overwrites the whole contract. Because you're saying, you know, look, the Bible is is the law of the land. You know, that's the top law. No one's going to, who's going to, who's going to overrule God? I mean, really. <laughs> Anything not congruent with God is unenforceable. So they, it doesn't matter what they have in this, in this legalese contract that you don't understand anyway, because they're talking some foreign language. You just overread everything just in that one statement, just in that one sentence. You can always put that. And when it comes to your, your social security number, which is not really your number, 
it's the number to your birth certificate that they kind of forced on you when you were a baby. So they're making contracts with babies, which is not lawful. That's constructive fraud. And, you know, if they ask you, you can either leave it blank or if they need a number, put all zeros. Say, hey, I just put it all zero. The thing you can either put all zeros, all fours, all sevens, or all nines. <clears throat> I think all fours does something. I forget what it was. A, a buddy of mine told me, but I have to go look that stuff back up. But what it boils down to is, is you never really want to give out that Social Security number because when you do, you're identifying yourself as their property. And then they get to do with you as they see fit. You you don't have rights. You only have privileges that they grant to you. So you want to be careful doing that stuff. <coughs> all in all, for all I know, they might have chipped me when I went to the dentist. But I went to a private dentist, so that might not be the case. I think the ones you're going to have to watch for is is those corporate dentists where where they have you know corporate you know they have 